Boom, what's up guys? Happy New Year, first and foremost. In this video, we're going to show you how to write an SEO optimized blog with ChatGPT in less than 15 minutes. Let's get it started. All right, guys, what is going on? Happy New Year. It's 2023. It's absolutely insane. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to write SEO optimized blogs with ChatGPT. You guys have heard of this before, I'm sure. It's of all the craze right now, uh, people are talking about this um, and using it every single day, millions of people. Uh, this is, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the fastest technology, software, et cetera, to get at least a million users. Um, I think it was like Pinterest took like 14 days, Facebook took a couple of years, and this took, I think, a couple of days, honestly, which is crazy. So ChatGPT, you guys have probably heard about it, but how do you actually get an op an SEO optimized blog with chat GPT. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So the first thing I want to do is you need a topic to talk about, right? So what I like to do is go over to uh, neilpatel.com with Uber suggest. And I essentially just find one of our competitors and we can go to all the keywords they are currently ranking for to find some sort of a topic, right? So what I like to do is I like to find the perfect blend and mix between the highest volume possible with the most amount of visits with the lowest SEO difficulty. The thing with Uber suggest is it only gives you a certain amount around uh, 10 to 15 blog topics that show this data before you actually need to upgrade to their seven day free trial. All right. So I'm just going to kind of go off hand here and see what I can do. Um, so here we go. So something that right off the get-go would pertain to Momentum 360 would be something like this, where photographers real estate has 22,000 searches a month. Currently, the competitor is on the first page, technically. I don't know technically, but they're almost on the first page. And the SEO difficulty is not that difficult. It's around 38. So this is something where I think there's a lot of opportunity for. So let's talk about it. So what you're going to do, guys, is now go to chat.openai.com slash chat. And what you're going to do is I like to just simply put in to chat GPT, write me a 2000 or in this case, 1800 word blog talking about real estate photography. Now, I'll preface this by saying, guys, just some bullet points to get a fully SEO optimized blog around 18 to 2100 words, five in uh, inbound links, five external links, uh, five SEO optimized images that are less than 100 KB. And what else am I missing? That's pretty much it to get an SEO optimized blog. And obviously you want to write about this uh, or not write about this. You want to create a video on this and then post it to YouTube. So that's what I would recommend doing. And once you have everything here, this is just going to spit out the text and then we're going to actually optimize it ourselves. But the longest task really is in writing the material. So what I'm going to do is just hit enter and here we go. It spits out something of real estate photography, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do is once this is finished, I'm going to take all of this and then put it into, you probably guessed it a Google doc, and then we are going to optimize it. Okay. So obviously the outbound link is going to be momentumvirtualtours.com. But what I want to do, since the topic at hand is real estate photography, we are going to simply type in real estate photography. We are going to find five, or I'm sorry, Momentum Virtual Tours is inbound. The outbound links are going to be everything you see here for the most part, all right? And then we're also going to go to tiny PNG to compress the images that we find, all right? So what I like to do is go to tools, usage, commercial and other licenses. So you're not stealing people's direct stuff. So all of this is, <clears throat> excuse me, eligible. I like to just take generic images, nothing too specific. Um, 
This would be a good one. That's too big. That one's too big. Uh, that one might be too big too. Um, let's see. That's weight definitely too big. Um, and notice, guys, like with images, the unfortunate thing, this is going to be good, is there's a lot of um, a lot of space with these images. So don't be surprised if you put these into tiny PNG that they're going to be several hundred KBs. In this case, we actually hit the gold mine and every single one is already less than um, 100 KB. For some weird reason, this didn't. Didn't work, so we're going to have to find three more. A good rule of thumb is if you find something that's 100 or 600, or I'm sorry, if this is less than 1,000 and less than 1,000, you're probably going to be good in terms of sizing, okay? Um, ba -ba -ba, let's try this. Unfortunately, the other one that I just downloaded didn't work. All we need is three more. We're going to speed this up for you too, guys. All right. Boom. 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 Awesome. So we have now five, we'll just call it four, resized images. So we're now going to download these images. I'm just going to download four for this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to chat GPT. We're now going to copy this. Now here's the kicker guys is you want to go to wordcounter.net to really see how many words they have. And in this case, it's only 600. So as I put in this before, I said 1800. So what I normally like to do, if you're short about two thirds of the quota that you put in for chat GPT, I would then right essentially take similar topics and have it just spit out another blog essentially, right? So if we're talking about real estate photography, talk to me about, write me a word blog talks blog about the best real estate cameras, real estate cameras. So now they're going to talk about real estate cameras, uh, very, I would say, similar topic to real estate photography, because we're obviously dealing with cameras at the end of the day, right? So as this loads up, I'm going to take real estate photography. I already have my images. They're all compressed. So I'm actually just going to be taking this portion I'm just going to be taking the first portion. Boom. Putting it in here. Now I'm going to wait for the, this is still writing. So what I'm going to do is just start adding the images. So I would suggest obviously sprinkling these images in throughout the blog that make the most sense. So I would do this new construction one. That looks decent. Put another one maybe here. All right. So that looks good. And then maybe one right here that connects to the next section. Boom. Cool. I know this is virtual staging, but it's still real estate photography, so we're all good there. All right, and this thing is now spit out its next section. So we're going to go and copy everything. We're going to go back to word counter. Let's see how many words they gave us. So 500, so not ideal, but we're going to now put this in here, and we're going to find another topic. So we're at about what? Let's just call it 1,100, 1,200 words. So we're going to make a third topic. Write me, in this case, let's just do a 500-word blog. Write me a 500-word blog about real estate 
um, to best practices. All right. So now we're talking about real estate photography is the main topic, but we're also including real estate cameras and best real estate practices, right? And actually I messed up because I want to do, write me a 500 word blog about real estate photography practices. I need to make a new chat because this is just going to talk about real estate as a career, being a real estate agent, not necessarily you doing real estate photography. All right. So while this loads, let's start to put in some of the outbound links. So we obviously want to go from the links that are the highest organically. Sprinkle them out. And I like to put them at, you know, I'd say buzzwords inside of the blog that make the most sense, that kind of enhance it. It's possible. There's another one. So this is a very local based search dealing with Philadelphia. Um, let's do one more. Let's just put um, let's do editing as well. Now let's also talk about, so this is nice. So the complete guide for photography. So I would also for this section, just summarize it. Okay. And now we just need one more. So boom. And then let's just put it. And I know this is kind of not the most spread out, but in this case, I just want to showcase how to do it. All right. So boom, we have our final section. So now we're going to go to word counter for a third time and we are going to hit enter. So 500, what it was like 510 plus 560 plus 600. So we have about a 1700 word blog, which is a good length. So let's add this in. Boom. And now gang within about what? Five minutes, probably a little bit more than that, but you get my, my point is we now have a blog. Let's call, let's call it 10, 15 minutes, right? Length of this video. So about 12 minutes, we already have a blog that we can post on the website. So we have a virtual tours. These are going to be the inbound links. So let's just start linking out Momentum 360. Oh, cool. Take a virtual tour. That's what we do. So boom, that would be a good one. Um, bah, bah, bah. Let's see what else. High quality image capture. That would be a good one to link out for 360 as well as what else could we do? Um, Detailed and sharp images. That's another good one. So now guys, less than 15 minutes, we have a fully optimized blog from chat GPT. All right. So guys, this is a very, very powerful video. If you want to create free content for your blog, website, social media for creating a optimized blog that we fully got from chat GPT. Check this out. It's very inspiring and it's going to actually save you so much more time and money because you don't need to hire people to do this. You can do this by yourself and you have 10 minutes to create a blog each and every day. I've actually created two more uh, today, bringing my total up to three SEO optimized blogs, um, which what spent me about 30 minutes doing where if I was going to write this myself, I would have spent countless hours just doing one. So you're saving so much more time, you're being more efficient and you're getting so much more output by using chat GPT. All right. So guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and smash the like button, help the YouTube algorithm, and we will see you in the next one. Again, thank you so much for the support and happy new year. I'll see you soon.